Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Today's class is Yoga 101, class number two. So we begin with some warm-ups and then we're going to learn Sun Salutation A. If you want to take a couple minutes to chill out and meditate before we start, pause this video, meditate, get centered, take as much time as you need. If you're ready to get moving, then let's begin in tabletop. Also, a blanket and a couple blocks today for class if you have them. Grab your blanket if you like that under your knees or your wrists in our tabletop position. Beginning with some cat and cow breaths. Inhale, your belly sinks down. Exhale, round it up, pull your belly in. Inhale, fill your belly, cow pose, udder of air. Exhale, round it up, cat pose. Moving with your breath. Another breath or two with cat and cow. And transitioning to our barrel roll. Press your ribs to the side, round it up. Press your ribs to the other side and round it down. Like you're scraping around inside of a barrel with your rib cage. Slow your barrel roll down. One more spin around this direction. And then pause, barrel roll the opposite way. Slow your barrel roll down again. One more spin this direction. And we'll meet back in tabletop. Bring your hands a little bit closer together underneath your body. Root your left hand down. Inhale your right arm up. Five big breaths here, stretching out your shoulder. One more circle with your right arm. And set it down and switch. Five big breaths, circle your left arm. One more circle, one more breath with the left arm. Set your left hand down, wiggle out your shoulders if you'd like. And then grab your blocks, preparing for lunge. And beginning with our right foot forward. Right ankle isn't crunched up under your body. Trying to get your right knee maybe on top of your right ankle, maybe a bit behind, but better behind than crunching into your ankle like that. And check in with your left side, looking for a stretch in the front of the right leg. So if you feel this more in your left hip joint, straighten up a little bit back out of the stretch and try to find that stretch in the muscle. Another breath or two here. Begin to push your hips back. Hips will stack over the left knee and then adjust your right foot so you feel this stretch along the back of the right leg. Don't worry about 
pulling your toes back or anything like that. Let your foot be how it feels comfortable. And now maybe gently pull your toes back for these last couple breaths. Begin to lift up your body, right hand and block come inside so that you can kick your right foot back. And let's take a child's pose between sides. Begin to lift your body back up to table and bring your left foot forward for the left side. And doing those check-ins with the left side, left ankle isn't getting crunched up under your body. I feel the stretch in the muscle here in the front of my right leg, not in my right hip joint. And if you want to work on your balance in this pose, I find if I curl my back toes under, that helps with my balance. And then I can bring my hands off my block to my heart, overhead, hips, open the shoulders, whatever hand position you like. Another breath here. And begin that transition. Hips go back. Looks like they're over top of the right knee. And then adjust the left foot if you need to and feel that stretch behind the left leg. Gently pull your left toes back. A couple more breaths here. Begin to pick up your left hand and block, set it inside, left foot kicks back, and another child's pose. Begin to lift your body back up to table. And if you have that blanket underneath your knees, take a moment to remove that. From your tabletop position, walk your knees back a couple inches. So you're in like a lengthened out tabletop. Curl your toes under with your next inhale. Pick up your knees, hover them just like an inch or so above the ground. Feel your core start to activate. One more breath and set your knees down. Take a little stretch. And we'll walk our knees back another inch or two. And curl your toes under one more time. Lift the knees up. And set the knees down. Take a little stretch. One more round of this. This time we'll be in a full plank when we lift our knees. So stretch your body out, lengthen it out. Curl your toes under, lift your knees, plank. One more breath and set your knees down. And take a little stretch, maybe a child's pose. Begin to come back up to table. So notice if any of those variations bothered your wrist, your shoulders, your elbows, anything in your arm. What I'd like you to do is take a look at where your arms are and maybe take your hands a little bit wider than your shoulders and maybe allow your hands to spin out a little bit like that. So if my hands are straight facing forward like this, it tends to hurt. 
I have to widen my fingers and then spin out a little bit with my hands. So experiment with what feels good for you. And let's come back to tabletop and lower it all the way down to our bellies. Beginning with a sphinx pose, elbows tucking under the shoulders, or you can take them a little wide and a little further out if that feels better. Hands press like you're pulling your chest forward through your arms, and a little press with the top of your feet too. One more breath, release, bend your elbows, stack your hands and rest your head down. Begin to lift your head up, bring your hands back, a little bit wider than your shoulders and maybe a little bit forward of your shoulders as well. That's where my hands feel good for Cobra. Then I pull my elbows in, draw my shoulders down and back. Inhale, a little press into the hands to lift your chest. But I'm not using my hands to create this back bend. I'm actually using the muscles in my back. My hands are just there for support. So if your cobra is so big that if you pick your hands up, you face plant, lower it down a little bit and try to use the muscles of your back to achieve this back bend. Inhale, little lift. Exhale, stack your hands and rest your head down. Begin to lift your head up. Bring your hands back and press yourself up to tabletop. Making our way back to downward dog, finding that hand and arm position that we worked on in class number one. Maybe your hands are a little bit wider than your shoulders. Maybe your hands spin out a little bit too, like I was just talking about in the plank. Find that comfortable position for your hands. Curl your toes, start to lift your hips. Keep that bend in your knees. Notice how your weight feels left to right, should feel balanced. And how does your weight feel front to back? Should feel also balanced, half your weight on your upper body, half on your lower. Begin to walk your dog forward. Keep a bend in your knees here and forward fold. So in forward fold, I have a big bend in my knees and I pull my belly down toward my thighs. This is where I'm finding the stretch in the back of my legs. If I aggressively straighten out my legs and then try to fold, I feel it more in my butt and into my hip joint rather than this muscle stretch that we're looking for. So bend in your knees is a good thing. And if you don't quite reach the ground, maybe here's a nice place to have a block. And then I like to do a little sway side to side. If you have a prop underneath you, take a second to put that aside. Hands come to your feet or your shins wherever they reach. And inhale, lengthen your spine like an upside down L. I still have a little bend here in the back of my knees. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen out your spine, upside down L. Exhale, forward fold. One more like that. Inhale, lengthen, reach with your head. Exhale, forward fold. Put a big bend in your knees and start to roll up your spine. And coming up to stand if you need to shake anything out. And 
finding our mountain pose. So for mountain pose, we'll start with our knees. I want your knees to be facing forward. Kneecaps forward, lining up pretty much under my hip bones. And then do let your feet do whatever makes them feel comfortable. Too many times we try to put our feet forward. If I parallel my feet forward like that, now my knees are knocking in together. I want my knee joints to be protected and in a good alignment. So if my kneecaps are facing forward, that's good for my knees. That might make my feet go out a little bit crooked, but that's okay because that's not hurting my ankle joint or my knee or my hip. So if you've been told to put your feet in a certain position, just think about that and what's more important for your knees to be in a good alignment and safe or your feet to be in a certain way because, because why? <laughs> I don't know. That's just what we're told. <laughs> so knees are in a good position, feet are in a good position. Check in with your hips. Take a couple circles. Circle the opposite way. Come back to center. Notice if you're sticking out or tucking under and see if you can find what feels like neutral. Maybe rock a little bit left to right. I actually end up taking my feet a little bit wider usually when I get to this point because that's what feels good. And then reach up through your head like you're trying to get tall to get on a ride. Relax your shoulders down and let your hands do whatever your hands do. If they want to face forward, if they want to face in, whatever feels better for your wrists. Close your eyes if you'd like here. Take a couple breaths and mountain. Mountain pose is the beginning of our sun salutation. Also just a great pose to feel grounded and strong. One more breath in your mountain pose. And with your next inhale, reach your arms straight up. Nothing fancy or anything to think about here. Your arms just go straight up they should land on top of your shoulders. That's where your arms naturally go unless you're trying to do something with them. So without thinking too hard about it from your mountain pose, inhale, reach your arms up. As we exhale, coming to forward fold, bend your knees and hinge at your hips. And wherever your hands land in your forward fold, we then inhale, lengthen out our spine, that upside down L. We exhale, plant our hands down, stepping back to plank or table. Check in with your hand position here. You might want it a little bit wider so you can lower your body down. Whichever back bend you like feels good for your back. Inhale, back bend here. And we exhale, tabletop to down dog or right into downward dog. With your next exhale, begin to walk your dog forward. You can also walk your hands back to meet your feet. When your feet and hands meet, inhale, lengthen the upside down L. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees, root your feet down, rise your body up as you reach your arms. And exhale, hands to your heart. So that was it, that was Sun Salutation A. Let's do a couple more rounds of that. We'll flow a little bit more with our breath this time. I'd like to show you one sun salutation modification. Um, if you have anything going on with wrists, elbows, shoulders, that it hurts to lower yourself down there. When we're down here, we inhale, lengthen, exhale, fold, and then we step back. If you don't want to lower all the way down to your belly, you can hang out right here in your tabletop. And when we do our back bend, you can do an inhale, a little cow pose for your back bend. And then exhale, you can stay in your tabletop or you can meet up with the rest of us in Downward Dog. So I just wanted to throw that modification out there. Um, again, anything going on with the arms and you just need a little break. So a couple more rounds of Sun A to finish up our class today. 
Find your mountain pose. One more breath in mountain. Next, inhale, reach your arms. Exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, step back and lower down. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale to downward dog. Begin to walk your dog forward, walk your hands back. Feet and hands meet, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, fold. Root your feet, bend your knees, inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Let's do one more round like that. Inhale, reach your arms, exhale, hinge and fold. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step back, and lower down. Inhale, your back bend. Exhale, tabletop to down dog. Begin to walk your dog forward, walk your hands backwards. Feet and hands meet, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees, root down, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. All right, that is Sun Salutation A. So hopefully you found some modifications in there that worked for you. If you want to practice a couple more times, please take a couple more rounds. Otherwise, let's make our way down to sit and we'll take a moment of quiet together before we end our class today. Grab your blanket if you want to sit on that. Whatever position feels good for your legs, extend them out or some sort of crossed variation. Let's close our eyes and take just a quiet minute together. If you'd like to lie down flat on your back and take a full five or 10 minute Shavasana, go right ahead. Begin to blink your eyes open. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining me on the mat today. I hope that you enjoyed Yoga 101, class number two. I also hope you'll continue to join me for classes three, four, and five. If you'd like more information on EV Yoga, check out my website and don't forget to subscribe below. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Namaste.